なんか嬉しい What's going on, you guys? So, Tension Asakawa. Yeah, that's right. For my boxing brother, Tension is the guy that Floyd Mayweather fought. Y'all remember him? Yeah. So, he had a fight this morning, right? And he said something that was pretty interesting. He said that he's looking to get into boxing. Shout out to Beyond Kickboxing for the translation, for the news. Um, but, yeah, that's interesting. He wants to get into boxing. Now, boxing. It's a lot more popular worldwide, and there's a lot more money in boxing. And Tenshin Asukawa is an extremely talented young fighter. Despite how that Floyd Mayweather fight played out, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather is one of the, probably one of the greatest fighters that ever lived. Um, so, and he's a bigger guy. He hopped right off the plane, just did his thing, and made it look easy. But despite all that, Tenshin Asukawa was a hell of a fighter. And him going to boxing might be the next move. However... There is some things that your boy Bushido been kind of researching and looking into. Now, on the surface, you know, I'm a kickboxing guy, but I'm not as deep into it as I'm in, into boxing. So I dug, dug a little deep, did some research. I've been watching a lot of kickboxing fights lately, been just letting it play. And there's some guys that Tenshin Asukawa should be fighting that he ain't fighting. You know, now his promotional company, you know, it got to the point where they was calling people on Twitter to come fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't find opponents for him. They had got him fighting MMA fighters, you know, guys that really can't stand to him in his world. You know, they got him fighting past prime guys, you know, guys that he's supposed to beat. Tension Asukawa was only 22 years old. His record is now 41 and 0 with like 33, 30 knockouts or something like that. You know, so he has a very impressive run. Um, his amateur career was impressive as well. His MMA career has been impressive. The kid is impressive. However, when we have seen him in there with guys that's for real, guys like Rotain, guys like Floyd Mayweather, there was question. You know, we've seen what happened when he got in there with Floyd. Of course, Floyd's the bigger man, etc. We ain't going to put too much on to that. But when he fought Rotain... And for my guys who don't know who Rod Tang is, Rod Tang is probably one of the best kickboxers in the world. I mean, Muay Thai fighters in the world. Um, Iron Man is what they call him. I got a highlight video of him. Check it out so you can kind of get a better idea of who he is. Dude's a fucking machine. He just had a fight recently, too. You know, the guy kind of, it was a short notice opponent. The guy came out with a weird game plan. It just wasn't his best performance. But Rod Tang is a machine nonetheless. And in that fight against Tenshin Asakawa, you know, Muay Thai fighters tend to start off slow and they really pick it up as the fight goes. And that's pretty much what happened. And Tenshin Asukawa seemed to not have an answer for Raw Tang's aggressiveness, toughness, and accuracy, just everything. Raw Tang is, is, is somewhat of a, a prodigy, just like Tenshin is, the same age and everything. And really, he won that fight. But they gave, you know, in, in kickboxing, if it goes to a draw, then they have a sudden death round. And I think they gave that last round to tension if I can uh, my memory serves me correctly so yeah they gave him a favorable decision you know he kept flopping to the floor with his rolling thunder kick it's one of his signature moves but he kept doing it just to stall the time because he didn't know what to do he couldn't really get away from Rotten. Rotten cut off the ring good and everything so yeah that made me scratch my head a little bit about my boy tension so then when we look at Takiro Segwa who's arguably the best kickboxer in the world today the dude is a machine um, that's a fight that kickboxing fans have been looking for. It's similar to Crawford Spence, you know. So that's a fight that kickboxing fans have been looking for. You know, they both, you know, said it multiple times that they want to fight each other. And they both said recently that let's do it for martial arts. They want to fight. But the promotional companies are somewhat the problem there. So they have those issues as well in kickboxing, you know. So I'm hearing rumors that... They're looking at Tokyo Dome. Not none, none confirmed official yet, but they're looking at the Tokyo Dome um, in June. You know, Tenshin Asukawa versus Takeru Segwa. If you don't know who Takeru is, dude is a, I mean, he's a beast. You know, he's older. I think, I believe he's 27. I think he's 29 or something like that, but he fought some killers. You know, he's, he's a monster, absolute monster. However, I do think that Tenshin Asukawa being a southpaw um, will give his style trouble because Takeru likes to use the lead leg you know, use the lead leg, you know, to set up a lot of things. And when he fights southpaws, he won't have that advantage. And when I seen him fight a southpaw, he didn't have that advantage. He seemed to struggle a little bit. He had to change things up. But 
really tough dude just absolute animal i can't even explain it he's he's definitely <laughs> a tough he's going to be a tough fight but there's a lot of kickboxers in the world that tension needs to fight before he thinks about some boxing you know there's guys in one championship if you don't know what one is one is probably one of the best um fighting promotions in the world especially on that side of the world incredible I, I just i've been watching it lately I just let it play it's a lot of fights every fight is a, every fight is a good fight you know what i'm saying somebody's getting knocked out you know it's an action-packed fights really good matchups and i mean that's where all the kick, best kickboxers are going now and tension i was looking to kind of get out of kickboxing why when you got all that food on the table over there still you know what i'm saying you you regard as one of the best in the world but you got to go prove it bro you know now i'm not sure if it's him you know he is a kid Tension Haskawa is a kid, man. He, he was like 20 years old when he fought Floyd. You know, so he was he was super he's a young guy. So maybe his promotional company, they're protecting him. I know they do that in Japan. I remember they used to do that with my boy Takanori Gomi back in the day for Pride. You know, he was the poster boy for Pride. And they did, you know, some questionable things to make sure he won and you know, you know, shit like that. You know, they they really protect their guy. But if if Tension Haskawa wanna be regarded as one of the greatest kickboxers or fighters out of Japan and follow the steps, the footsteps of the great, um, like guys like Masato, you know, who fought some of the B best kickboxers in the century, you know, um, he gonna have to fight some of these guys like Takeru, you know, he gonna have to get Rod Tang a rematch, you know, that fight needs to happen again, you know, there's a lot of guys down there for him to fight, man, but yeah, Tenshin Asakawa is looking to get into boxing, maybe to follow in the footsteps of Nayo anyway, boxing is, um, a more popular sport worldwide, and we'll just see what happens. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.